Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to use artificial intelligence to manipulate uh, images, especially facial features in uh, Adobe Photoshop. So how it will work is we have a new filter available in the latest versions of Photoshop. And when you apply these settings, it will go into Adobe Cloud using the Adobe Sensei. It will look into thousands or millions of results. Based on that, it will modify your image. This is just to put things into very simple uh, understanding, but there are so many things going on which we don't need to know. We are just going to use the technology. So let's get started. But keep in mind, guys, this filter is still in beta stage. So sometimes you won't get perfect results. But so far, I have tested a couple of images. The results is awesome. All right. Okay. So as you guys can see in here, we have this uh, picture, a portrait image of a lady. Uh, let's say we are going to change some facial features or expressions of this lady. As you can see, this lady looks very angry and uh, let's say we want to make this lady a little bit happy. Okay, so what we need to do is let's go in here to the filter. As you can see, there is a new tab available called Neural Filter. Select the Neural Filter which will open up this new settings window in here. And you guys can see we have two set of filters in here. The first one have two filters. One is skin smoothing and style transfer. We are not going to talk about these two in this tutorial. I will do another tutorial on this in the future. What I'm going to talk is the second set, which is this one, which have these beta versions of filters. All right. The filter which we are going to use is this smart portrait options. Just click on this toggle button, which will on the filter. But you won't see any change because we haven't changed any parameters yet. First thing what I'm going to do in here is make this lady smile a bit. So we go in here, click on the happiness and to increase the happiness, just bring the value to the positive side. As you can see, once you drag the value to a positive side or negative side, it will take some time to give you the final results. It's because it's not using this Photoshop in here. It's using the cloud to do the process. That's why it will take some time based on your internet speed to get the final results. And we get our results. And we can see the lady smiling a bit now. Let's increase a bit more. And you can see when we increase, you can even see the teeth. And now it looks like she's smiling. Maybe increase a bit more. All right, cool. So you can see now she's happy. Let's go in here. We have other facial expression. You can bring a surprise. Let's increase the surprise. And you can see it's processing. And now the facial expressions are changing. We can make her uh, angry also. Maybe low, but she's already angry. And we, maybe let's bring her to the minus side. So let's go into the anger. And let's increase and see first. And once you increase, you can see she's very angry. And now maybe let's take out the surprise now we can see happiness and anger together and let's take out the happiness you can see she's very angry all right okay so let's on the happiness and on the surprise and let's keep the anger also because it's giving some unique results okay these are the expressions you can do with this filter the other option we have is aging we can make the person older or younger let's say you want to make this uh, person older you can just on the aging and bring the value to the plus side you can see she look older and she look really old and if you want to bring her younger you need to bring it to the minus side just bring the aging to the minus side you can see she look very young and if you bring it to the center point zero point it will go back to the original results and another cool feature in here is changing the head direction. This is impossible to do last time by editing an image unless you are a very skilled person. But now you can just use this, this slider to change the head anywhere you want. Let's say you want to turn the head to the right, just increase the value to the right, make it plus, and you can see, wait for it load, and our image has been turned our face has been turned same way if you bring it to the other side the image will the head will change to the other side like this in here wait for it to load and yeah 
So this is really cool feature. This is going to revolutionize photo editing in the future. And talking about revolution, next thing is the gaze. You can change the gaze. Basically, you can do this. Just increase this one. You can see the eye and the entire face is changing and the way the character is looking will change based on your parameters. You can bring it minus, which will completely change to the other side. And if you bring it to the plus side, you can see your character is looking at you straight away. Before we do that, you can see in below, you can also change the placement of the head by moving these settings in here. Just increase this one. You can see our head also changing position. You can see there's a slight misplacement in the neck area. Even without this, we can edit this easily after we apply this filter using the masking because this will come as a layer. You can see the settings below. But if you want to change the placement, you can adjust these settings in here. All right. Okay. Let's go back in here. You can even change the head angle after you apply case settings. For an example, if, let's say you want to make this character to see the other side. You can just bring the parameters to opposite side. And ignore the neck area, the misplacement we can edit after we apply this filter later on in layers. Okay, so the next feature is adding or removing hair for the head. You can add or remove hair, not just hair. It will also place hair based on the character, facial features and everything. So for an example, let's say you want to bring less hair for this character. You can just bring it to the minus side and you can see the results. Pretty cool. Or let's say you want to add more hair to this character. Just bring it to the plus side. And you can even see it's even bringing the hair behind the ears as well. So this is really, really cool. Okay, the last uh, feature I'm going to show in here is changing the light of the character. So this is science fiction last time. But now, thanks to AI, you can do it. So you can basically change the light source just by moving this slider. Same as other options. As you can see, when you change the slider, based on your slider position, you can bring the light and shadows in the picture to behave based on your light source. How cool is that? So these results are given to you by analyzing millions of pictures. Based on that, AI will calculate and apply the modifications into your image. And this is still beta version. And when the AI get more and more powerful, your results is going to be more and more powerful as well. All right, guys. So that's all about it for today. And thank you for watching. Please explore these features. There are so many things you can do with this uh, uh, filter. You can even color black and white pictures. So many things you can do, which I will do different tutorials as well. All right. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.